Hi, my name is Lynn Eriksson. I'm a Nordic skier, skiing for the University of Denver. I'm from Oslo, Norway. I'm Abby Akintola. I'm here at the University of Denver basketball team, and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, my name is Matt Marston. I play ice hockey here at the University of Denver. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, uh, in Canada. Hi, my name is Andre. I'm from Brazil, and I play soccer. I lived in New York for three months for an internship, but like coming to Denver and coming here was my first first like athletic experience outside outside Norway. I actually got to travel and live abroad in Germany for a little bit, and I was able to adjust to that. But that's a completely different uh, city to Denver, and Denver's a very nice community. It does remind me a lot of my city, Melbourne. Actually, kind of like similar to Denver, Calgary is. Um, it's about a million people. I uh, grew up in the southeast. Uh, everybody plays hockey. It's a little different. I grew up my whole life playing soccer in Brazil, just different clubs and everything. And when I was uh, 15, I was playing a tournament in Europe uh, called the Gothia Cup in Sweden. And then there was this guy who was, who was an American that was there as well. And he saw me playing and he knew a, he knew a high school program here in Florida. I think is especially unique about like doing sports in the US is the way that you you're able to like combine school and sports that's much harder in Europe like you can do it but then you have to like do it yourself the opportunities that come with being able to play the sport I love while I was getting an education setting up my future um, all those opportunities with that it's it's hard to pass up on we live, I was living in the dorms my first year. Um, I had to, we had 10 freshmen in my class, or 11 freshmen in my class, so it was easy for us to make the transition and get to know those guys, and we all took similar classes. In Brazil, when you start to get to the higher levels, like under 17, under 20s, they encourage you to go to a easier school so you can spend more time focusing on soccer. The school wasn't great, and it was more like they just you just had to be in school and that's why they paid for you to go but the school wasn't great, the education was great and I wasn't happy with that. My parents weren't happy with that. They really wanted me to get a quality education. It's kind of up and down in the beginning. Sometimes you like having the time of your life and sometimes you're just super homesick. But most of, like, you're getting used to it. Sometimes it's, uh, it's hard to I think of all the things that I missed. Like when I last went home, it was interesting to see like the neighborhood and see how everyone's changed and how they're, how they're all doing. Uh, just like little things like my brother, like he, he was shorter than me when, when I left and then now he's taller than me now. Everybody deals with a bit of homesickness now and then or whatnot or missing the family or you know, some guys have girlfriends back home that fly out or um, it's not easy. Yeah, it's, it's really hard, you know, I miss my parents, my grandparents, my sister and my brothers a lot. They, they, Sometimes come to visit me, which is great. We have a great time, you know, do stuff here in Denver. There's lots to do, go up to the mountains, uh, go to concerts and stuff like that. But it's definitely not the same thing. Coming here, you're like, you're having coaches and teammates who all take very well care of you. So you don't feel like you're alone. You like have like a second family here. Especially like the local guys who live here. They've, uh, they've all invited me over to their house. I spent Thanksgiving at mo most of my teammates' houses. Christmas, I went with my teammates last year and this year as well. Um, they've had me over for Easter, they had me over for the 4th of July, so I'm included in their families. I'm like part of it. They have a lot of staff to help you out too along the way. International House um, coaches help you out, all the staff here uh, with athletics and whatnot, um, guidance counselors, so you know they make it very easy for you. I think they have supported me in all sorts of ways, like with David, Kummer and Cindy, they always help us, like ask, how are you feeling, are you feeling okay, do you miss anything? Uh, I think the athletic advisors are like a great asset that we have here. I think that Jamie, the coaches from the University of Denver, they helped a lot. I think that the University of Denver had a specific class for international students I had to take, which was called Exploring U.S. Culture, which I met people from all over the world. Unfortunately, there wasn't anyone from Brazil, which wasn't great, but I still met people from China, Taiwan, uh, Vietnam, Sweden, Finland, which was a, a great opportunity to see. Also, there are other people around me who are from a different country and are still able to you know, go through university and everything. Every like student 
it's like one student community, like we're yeah, one population and everyone should be included. It means that we're all able to see our differences but we, we don't ignore our differences, we accept that like these differences are good and that they're there but like we're able to exist together and like celebrate them. The community first basically, um, you know, putting yourself, um, not being selfish, basically putting yourself um, behind others um, and for me I mean setting an example not only as a captain of our team um, as an ultimate captain of our team but uh, in the Denver community as a whole. The DU as a community is very welcoming to all international students regardless you're from um, like I said Canada, Europe or Asia and um, I think that's part of what makes uh, DU so special.